We'll open up a web browser and point it to the address of the onboard administrator. We'll get the login screen. But there are three different closures that are going to show up on the left. There are three OA modules that are tied together, so I can manage all three from a single screen if I want. Click sign in and it reads the information from all the enclosures that are selected. And here's the main console. You see a graphical view of the first enclosure on the right, that's the front and the rear view, a navigation on the left. First we'll go to the power monitoring screen. You can see the entire enclosure's average and peak power over the last uh, couple of hours. Shown graphically, very easy to use, very intuitive. Once you spend more time working, less time learning the tools. If you'd rather just see the raw data, you can put it into a table format as well. Now let's take a look at the fan view. You can see I've got eight fans installed, and by the green OK status, you can tell everything's good. It even shows the fan speed on the right. Let's take a look at an individual blade server. I'll click on that server's name in the navigation panel here. The server's powered off. You can see the orange standby light on the graphical image. I'll go in and power that server on. You can see the LED on the server's image goes green because it's powered on now. Back to the server details. If we wanted to know what's installed in the server, we can go to the uh, information tab. This is the processor memory, mezzanine card, stuff like firmware and BIOS versions. All that kind of inventory information. Let's take a look at some of the logs. You can see what's happened to that server in the recent past. Uh, alerts, that, that kind of thing. The port screen is interesting. Let's go back to... Uh, the status. Oh, temperatures. Want to make sure you can see all the temperatures that are inside that blade uh, on all the uh, temperature sensors scattered around the thing. Okay, port screen here. I uh, wanted to show you what switch ports that each server is connected to. Just that info alone can save a lot of time if you're trying to connect or disconnect cables. By the way, from the onboard administrator, I can also launch remote KVM sessions to each of the blades. It's a single sign on feature, so I don't have to log into each blade uh, independently. This particular blade is running Windows, complete graphical console through uh, integrated lights out 2 or ILO. And it looks like we're running a disk defrag here. It's uh, well, a couple things so you can see how easy it is to use remote KVM and uh, then uh, I'll just swap back to the onboard administrator. Pretty uh, intuitive and powerful.